Hi, welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today I'm going to be showing you the items that I brought home from the ReStore Habitat for Humanity in Salem, Ohio. And then also I'm going to show you what I brought home from the Goodwill in Salem. But let's start with the ReStore. First is this very pretty cloisonne plate with the with the gold and the pretty flowers. It was $1 and I can probably expect to get about $20 for it. It is a Limoges from France, Old Abbey hand painted. So I was very happy to find that. Then back here, the friend find. It's always good to bring a friend when you go shopping. These are hand blown champagne glasses. And since they're hand blown, they're very unique and they're different, so not not one is the same. And these were a dollar fifty each, and I could expect to get anywhere from two to ten dollars for them, since I cannot find the person who made them. But there's their signature, very unique with its cross, and um, it was made in 1978, which is etched on the bottom there too. So that was a very fun find. And then behind that is a, like a stove top salt and pepper shakers, um, pear shaped. And I paid $2.50 each for them. So $5 for the pear and they would sell for about 10 to $20 for the pear. Then here is the creamer and the sugar, the New Zealand. This one, you can barely see the New Zealand on the bottom, but I paid 50 cents for the creamer and a dollar fifty for the sugar and this one you can see made in New Zealand very well on there and this set would probably sell for about ten to twenty dollars then back here is the Dorothy Thorpe wannabes so here's the silver or platinum band it's not very it's not super thick like the Dorothy Thorpe's and it doesn't come all the way up to the edge but I paid, let's see, $4.50 for the set of six, and they would sell for about um, $35 to $40 for the set. So it's still pretty good. Then back here is a cake plate. I paid $5 for it, and it would sell for about $15 to $50, depending on who wants it at white time, what time. But there's the Nice purple base there, and then the fleur de lis and the roses. Very pretty. And then I think the last thing I found at Restore was this figurine. It is very well made, and it doesn't have any chips or cracks. All the little ducks and chickies are there, and it is um, made in Germany. It's a Metzler or Orloff. You can see the M and the O stamp there. And I paid $1 for this. And it would sell anywhere from $50 to $75. Some of them are very um, more colorfully painted. And this one is um, more muted in its cream and its blue. But I like that one. And that was everything from the ReStore that I actually brought home. And when I was looking at re-looking at the video shopping inside the ReStore, I did miss a couple of items that I wish I would have brought home. But that's what happens. Okay, moving on to the Goodwill in Salem. I will start with these right here. It's a set of three with the sailboats and the and the sun. And I paid $1.99 each for them, so $6 for this set. And I couldn't find exact ones like it, so they sell anywhere from $10 to $75. And I may end up keeping this for my future lake house. We will see. But they're very dusty and dirty, so I have to clean them. But let's move them over here out of the way so that we can see this. This actually came from 
the Restore. It's a wine rack, and Restore was selling it for $6.25. But somebody donated it to Goodwill, and Goodwill had the price of $8.99. But it was Purple Tag Day, and Purple Tag was either half off or a dollar. Might have been a dollar on Purple Tag Day. But there's the uh, wine rack, and I'm not exactly sure how it puts together because there's no directions, but it looks very nice. And for only a dollar, or even if it was half off, only four fifty, and it would sell anywhere from twenty to thirty-five dollars. So that was fun. Then also another purple tag find was this Italian pottery plate. I paid either a dollar or two dollars and fifty cents for it and it would sell anywhere from fifteen to thirty five dollars. And it is, well I actually picked up two of them because there were two. And it is a, first I thought it was like ECA hand painted in Italy, but the other one's markings are much more clear so it had a full name but that's how I found it. So this is the purple and the green. I would have liked it if it was like a different color because purple's not really my favorite, but there you have it. Another purple sticker find was this Pyrex bowl. I liked the blue and the stripes and it was only either a dollar for a dollar day or two fifty for half off day. And it would sell for about 15 to $20 for that Pyrex bowl. Let's see, oh, no. oh, and here's another purple, no, there's a few more purple finds. This purple find is an Indiana glass black rose dish. So, so you can see, if I put it up to the light, you can see that it is glass and you can see through it. And it's got the nice pretty rose design on it and I paid a dollar for it. And it would sell for about 20 to $25. Most of the ones that I found have lids and this did not have a lid. It's just a dish, but we'll see how that goes. Another purple tag find were these egg cups. So they were half off at 50 cents each and they would sell for about 10 to $25 for this set of three. So I think that was all of the purple tags that I got for half off or a dollar. Then I picked up these little guys. This little guy isn't anything super special, but he's got a sailboat and I thought he was very cute for a lake house. So I paid 99 cents for him. And if I were to sell him, he'd sell anywhere between five and $20. But you can tell the difference between like the ones made in China or Japan and then the ones made in, um, the ones made in Germany are more detailed. So this um, Madonna and Child, I paid, let's see, I paid $3.99 for them and they would sell anywhere between $25 and $30. Then some more Dorothy Thorpe wannabes. Now these um, silver bands do come all the way up to the edge, but if they were Dorothy Thorpe, they would be thicker. But these nice little juice glasses, I paid 99 cents each for them, and they would sell for about three to five dollars each. Then back here, this nice, very cheerful yellow vase. Um, let's see, what did I pay for it? I paid $1.99 for it, and it would sell anywhere from $10 to $40. It is a Hager. A little modern sticker there with its barcode, but it's very cheerful. Then right in front of them were the natural sea urchins, and I paid $0.99 cents for them, and they would sell anywhere between $3 and $45. But I'm probably just going to use them for my own personal decor because be very afraid to ship these and get them broken. This one I think had a 99 cents price sticker on it too, but I think she gave it to me for free because it is broken. 
it, I mean, you can't really see it, but it's broken top and it does have a crack all the way down. So that's that. Okay, moving on. This back here, I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for it. I could have paid $5 for it. I could have paid $2 for it, but the sticker came off. So I'm not positive, but it is a vintage sugar bowl um, keg from Indonesia. Um, I probably paid between two and five dollars for it, and it would sell for about ten dollars. So it's called a sugar bowl, but you know, it could also be a candy dish. Then way back here, this um, ginger jar. It's got its nice gold leaf. It is um, 22 karat gold. And it had all of the um, the packaging tape on it so it wouldn't lose its lid. But the packaging tape, you can see, took off some of the gold, which is unfortunate. But I was as careful as I could be so I wouldn't take off too much of the gold. I paid $4.99 for it. And they only sell between $5 and $25. You can see it has its sticker under there, Lotus. Now it's 22 karat gold. Very pretty. Then way back here is a little saint's pictures. And I'll probably keep this for myself. But I paid, let's see, only paid 99 cents for it. And if I were to sell it, it would sell between $5 and $20 probably keep that for myself. Then this right here came in its box. It's a hand-blown, you can see the pummel mark on the bottom, hand-blown and etched daisies. It is um, made in Turkey. And how much did I pay for it? I paid $1.99 for it and it would sell anywhere from 10 to $25 was fun. Then back here, I picked these up at Goodwill and I actually saw them also at the Salvation Army. But the Salvation Army's prices are a lot more than Goodwill. But they're resin and the flowers and it's signed and I paid $2.99 each for these and they sell for about $20 each. So the yellow one and the purple one. Then right here, these are just like from Home Goods, and I paid $1.99 for them. And the spoons would sell between five and ten dollars each. But you can see the Home Goods $12.99 marked down to $6.50. So I'll probably keep those also for the lake house. And also this set, the cheese serving set. Again, $1.99, and these ones would go for about $10 to $15. $12.99 marked down to $9, marked down to $6.50. Then this right here, I liked it because it's pink. Nice pedestal candy dish. And it is also the packaging tape. I'm going to have to work on getting all that packaging tape off the edges, see? But um, I paid $4.99 for it, and it would sell for about um, $15 to $20. So that was fun. After I get all that tape residue off. Then last is the beer stein that my friend said, you have to pick this up. And I wasn't going to pick it up. There's a little marking right there. Because it's not got very good markings on the bottom. So I can't tell exactly where it's from. It's just got some numbers, but I paid $4.99 for it and it would sell anywhere between um, $10 and $30. But it's got the rams right there and it's fun with the snake right there. So it is a fun piece. But that was everything that I found at the Goodwill in Salem and at the ReStore. I'll have to go back there soon and find some more treasures and as always you can find all the items in my ebay store um blue lady thrifting 
and I thank you for watching.